mighty hand. And that's why they call them biblical epics. I loved movies like The Ten Commandments as a kid. These dramas were in heavy rotation on local TV, and I grew up watching Ben-Hur's heart-pounding chariot race and the colorful spectacle of The Ten Commandments in the robe. Perhaps other moviegoers are feeling nostalgic for biblical films. Hollywood certainly seems to think so. What are you doing? Going fishing. I'm telling you, there's no fish out there. Son of God, the reworking of the 2013 TV miniseries The Bible into a feature film has made more than 56 million at the box office. Come with me. What are we gonna do? Change the world. And its star, Portuguese former model Diogo Morgado, has earned himself a Twitter hashtag, Hot Jesus. There is no God. All that I require from each of you is that you fill in the papers I've just given you with three little words, God is dead. God's Not Dead, a tiny indie that opened in a few American theaters last weekend, surprised its backers by bringing in an impressive 8.2 million. Darren Aronofsky's CGI-heavy multi-million dollar showcase, Noah, opens Friday, starring Russell Crowe as the Ark Builder. It's predicted to be looking at a 40 million dollar opening weekend. I just reduced it to human terms, you know. You know, I mean, you know, some religions say Noah is a prophet. Some people talk of him in terms of, you know, having sort of superhero status, but he was, in my mind, just a man, given a, a particularly heavy task. On April 16th, just days before Easter, and based on the bestseller of the same name, Heaven is for Real opens. It stars Greg Kinnear as a real live Nebraska pastor whose four-year-old son has a near-death experience during surgery. He wakes saying he's been to heaven and he's seen Jesus. You saw my grandfather? Where did you see him? In heaven. Is this him? Is this the man you saw? No, in heaven everybody's young. Is this him? Yeah, that's him. That's Pop. To round out the year, Ridley Scott's Exodus opens December 12th with Christian Bale playing Moses. The details are under wraps, but judging from the cast of characters, it seems to follow at least part of the narrative of DeMille's 1956 Old Testament-based epic, The Ten Commandments. We don't know if Bale will part the Red Sea, but we do know who will be by his side. Breaking Bad's Aaron Paul plays Joshua. For all you need to know about what's happening at the movies, read the Toronto Star and go to thestar.com. <laughs>